Benji asks, I am designing a 300 gram four inch drone that uses four S batteries for a school club. What motor and prop combination would you recommend for such a build? Um, in the 300 gram four inch category, I wouldn't want anything smaller than a 2004 motor. Um, I think these days there are some better motors that are a little bigger. Uh, my big uh, dislike of the 2004 is that it's a two millimeter motor shaft. And as a result, the durability is really trash. Um, f I'm going to throw this out to the chat. Like, I think you could go from about a 2004 up to something like the FPV cycle 23 millimeter motor. It would be kind of like the biggest motor I would think about. Oh, wrong motor, wrong window here. Hang on a second. So this is like the FPV cycle 2303. Um... I, I I feel like I would go for a little bit bigger motor on a four inch. Uh, the, I don't know if you'll hit your 300 gram target with this motor, probably. So this is listed as a three inch Cinewhoop motor. Should we should we go for the 23 millimeter tall? Is that overkill for a four inch prop? That's got an M5 shaft. That's probably gonna give you more versatility in the props. I don't want five inch, four S, four inch. Yeah, this is the motor. This is the motor right here. So this is for four S, four inch, high powered, 2330 KV. I would probably get the 2330 KV version of this motor. And there's people out there who would say this would be overkill, but the smaller, lighter motors just have really trash durability. Like I would, I would be something like this. Is this a 2305? Does it even say? 2306? That's kind of overkill. 18 does. So don't get the 1830. That might be overkill. Hmm. Uh, Ciati FPV, you got an opinion? Ciati likes the 2104. Which 2104, Ciati? So that 23 might be, it might be overkill. The RC and Power GTS V3 20. 104 does that have a does that have like a two and a half millimeter shaft though oh it is a three millimeter shaft okay i i it's got a team out which i'm not a big fan of he's not building the cinewhoop though siati i don't think he's building the cinewhoop oh he's like siati's like what are we talking about all right because siati is so knowledgeable about quads in this size we're going to go swing back through siati he's building a 300 gram four inch drone on 4s you want to throw us uh you want to throw us a suggestion and then we're going to move on let's see what siati has to say no pressure siati uh 2104 i see it's that's hmm two that i don't like 2004 because the two millimeter shaft is not durable in my opinion a 2104 with a three millimeter shaft could be okay. And the 23 from uh, FPV cycle is probably overkill. That would probably be like the top of my range for this. Still waiting for Ciotti to weigh in. Oh well, he'll catch up. Okay. Well, I think if I don't, I don't think the chat's that far behind. So, oh, here he goes. For a school club, I'm guessing you don't want heinous power. I don't know why you would assume that. <laughs> Let me put Seattle's answer up here on chat. Um, for a school club, I'm guessing you don't want heinous power, but for motor sizing 1804 bare minimum, the X, you just love that 1804. That's just like, you're always recommending that number, uh, that, that motor. The Xnova, so we would say the Xnova 1804 up to, in my opinion, the FPV cycle 23 millimeter. Uh, and uh, there you go. What KV? Seattle, what KV on the Xnova 1804? Um, okay. We're going to move on. Uh, Mike Bergman thinks that the uh, 2004 motors are 1.5 millimeter shaft normally. 
Uh, you could be right, Mike. Uh, I just know the shaft is too small. I'll tell you that. Um, 3,500 KV, he says. Yeah, that's the thing about the FPV cycle. The FPV cycle motor, the KV is a little low for 4-inch. I'm a little surprised. Um, uh, Anthony Greco says he runs those motors on my 4-inch micro apex, but unfortunately, I don't know what motors he's referring to because of delay and so forth. Um, so... Um, yeah, Mike Bergman, that's it. I think, Mike, you may be thinking of the, uh, you may be thinking of the prop, the T-mount prop shaft. I'm talking about the internal shaft that goes through the bearings, and they're not the same size. Okay. All right. 